If you're anything like me, you have a ton of clothes just laying around your house that you no longer wear, that no longer fit, or that just no longer are in style. So how can you make money off of those clothes? Stay tuned and I will share all of the deets in this video. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I am a part-time reseller and honestly kind of like serial entrepreneur. I like to do lots of different things that will make me money and I think it's fun and kind of a game just to see if I can make a little bit more today than I did yesterday. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about what you can do with clothes that you have laying around the house, whether they are your clothes, your partner's clothes, your kid's clothes, and how you can actually make money off of those things. Now, let me just preface by saying that I have taken so many trips to my local thrift stores as well, and I absolutely believe that donating to a local charity or thrift store is amazing. We also give a lot of clothes to you know people at our church and to our nieces and to just different people who could use some hand-me-downs. We we love getting hand-me-downs as well and so I don't want you thinking that I am out here just buying clothes every single day stuff that I don't need and just kind of swimming in unworn clothing I actually don't shop a lot and rarely purchase items at full price I get the majority of my clothes and my husband's clothes and my kids clothes um, secondhand we get clothes like I said as hand-me-downs at garage sales consignment stores thrift stores, you name it, we prefer to shop secondhand. But I am a part-time reseller, which means aside from thrifting for myself, I actually go out and thrift at a lot of the different places that I just mentioned in order to find inventory to sell online. But I do like to support the secondhand market as much as possible. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video is how you can take part in that secondhand market and how you can sell your clothes to different people who might want them. So we're gonna talk about assessing three different things in this video. The first thing is you need to assess your time and your energy. How much time do you actually have and how much energy do you wanna pour into this? The second thing that you need to assess are your options and what is available to you. There are specific types of stores that may be available to me that are not to you, or maybe you have a lot more options than I do because I live on like a campus town where there's not a whole lot going on. Lastly, you need to assess your clothes. What kind of clothes do you have? What are they actually worth? And once we assess those three things, I think that together we're going to arrive at the best place for you to sell your clothing. So let's get started. All right, the first thing you need to assess is your time and your energy. I'll be honest, I am a pretty busy person. I am a mom to two kids. I'm married. I'm actively involved in my church. I also am a full-time high school choir teacher. That by itself is like three full-time jobs. I don't know. And yet, because I want to, and because it's fun for me, I do find time to, like I said, we sell part-time. I do find time to maintain this YouTube channel and upload content for all of you. I just kind of make and create the time because that's what's important to me. I don't really enjoy watching movies or I don't know. I don't know what else people do with their free time, <laughs> but that's what I like to do with my free time. That's what's fun for me is, like I said earlier, making money. But you have to honestly ask yourself how much time do I have to devote to making money on my old clothes? And the way that I'll structure this video is I'm gonna give you a lot of options in just a little bit in regards to all of the different ways I have thought of that you can make money off of your old clothes. And I'm gonna start with the options that require the least amount of time and the least amount of energy in order to make some money on your clothes. Versus if you get to the end of the video, it's gonna share the most time consuming way to make money on your old clothes, but the way that's going to make you the most profit. So the first thing you have to do is honestly ask yourself, how much time and energy do you have to devote to this? And that's going to help us arrive at how we make money on our clothes very quickly. The second thing that you need to assess are the different options that are available to you when it comes to where can you even sell your clothes to make a little bit of money. So I'm going to go into some of the different places that I thought of that you can turn to in order to make money on your clothes. And again, like I said, I'm going to start with what takes the least amount of time and energy on your end and take it all the way down to what is the most time consuming. So the first thing that you can do is you can just send your clothes in to online consignment stores. So I'm thinking of online secondhand markets like thread up the real real if you have a lot of like higher end pieces swap and i'm sure there are others at this point this option is the perfect one for those that don't want to spend any time on making money on their old clothes 
All you do is you reach out to one of those companies that I stated, you request a bag, they'll send you like a big sturdy poly mailer bag that you just throw all your clothes in, they'll send you a shipping label, you send them your clothes, and then they do the rest. They will decide which pieces that you sent them they are willing to resell on their website, which pieces they're just gonna donate, and you just kind of wait, and then hopefully some money starts trickling in. You are not going to make a lot of money, and that's because you are doing very little work, and you are asking that company to do a lot of the work. And another thing to note with those companies is, for example, if you know they're a little bit more higher end, if they retail for a lot to begin with, you're gonna make more money on those kinds of pieces than if you were to just send in a lot of clothes that you got at Walmart and Target and places like that. Another thing to pay attention to is seasonality. If you are sending them winter coats at the beginning of the spring, chances are they're either not going to accept those items or you're just not gonna make a lot of money on them because nobody's really shopping for that kind of stuff in the middle of the spring and summer. The next option that I thought of that is almost as little work and effort as my first option is to take your clothes to a local consignment store. Um, like I said earlier, I live on a campus town. It's not a lot of people. It's not, you know, a Chicago or a New York City or anything like that. But even in my small town, I know of two consignment stores that sell both women's and men's clothing. One of those also does kids. And there's also a local kids consignment store. There's also a Plato's closet. And the difference there is rather than giving you a payout once your item sells, you just sell them your clothes up front. They'll hand you cash before you even leave that day, as well as the items that they didn't want to take from you. And you can make a little bit of money that way. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is a little bit more effort than just throwing all of your items in a bag is because you got to actually assemble all the items, put them in like a bag or a bin or something. And you you got to take them to the store yourself. And that's a little bit more effort than just throwing everything in a bag. Another thing to kind of be on the lookout for is in my town, there is a pop-up consignment sale, which means there's a couple ladies that host a consignment sale and they mark it by going on local access television and sharing about it on the news. There's Facebook groups and stuff, but they host a pop-up consignment sale made up of local people in our town. And we just bring our clothes, we price everything, we hang everything up. Up, and then they kind of put the sale together and it's a really fun week-long event. I have sold some clothes at those pop-up consignment sales and made like two to three hundred dollars a pop. I also did a similar pop-up consignment sale for children back in the day and made, you know, again, maybe like one to two hundred dollars there. So that's another option. It's a little bit more work because you have to drive. And also while you're going to make, I think, a little bit more going down that route than you would sending your items in to thread up or swap, the real real you can do a okay with if you're sending them really good stuff. But generally speaking, you're going to make pennies over there too. You'll make more with the consignment stores. You will also maybe not make as much with Plato's Closet. That's very hit or miss. And I only mentioned Plato's Closet because that's what we have in my town. But other stores that are of that same mold are stores like Clothes Mentor, which is actually basically Plato's Closet's older cousin. You know, they carry more mature brands like Eileen Fisher and Talbots and brands like that. If you have like an uptown cheapskate or a Buffalo Exchange in your area. These are all places that are going to kind of go off of the Plato's Closet model, which is they're going to see what you have, give you an upfront payment right away, which honestly is not going to be a whole lot, but you'll have some cash in your hand and the clothes will be gone. The next way you can make some money on your clothes is with a garage sale. This is definitely, in my opinion, a lot more work than sending your clothes into an online company, than driving your clothes to a local consignment store or buy, sell, trade store. But I do think you can can make more money on your clothes if you run a garage sale because you're in charge of pricing. You can charge what you want on those items. Now, whether or not those items actually sell at the prices that you're stating, that's left to be seen, but you have more control over the pricing and therefore how much profit you may make on any given item. Now, I don't know if you've ever put on a garage sale. I've probably hosted like three or four in my lifetime, and I actually do have a YouTube video about how to run a successful garage sale right here. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to get everything set up. Even just like making advertisements for your garage sale is a lot of work. We would do like posters or, you know, get like cardboard from boxes and we would get markers and like that took a lot of time. But the nice thing about a garage sale is not only can you make money off of your old clothes, but you can also make money off of other things in your house. And if you join forces with another family that maybe lives near you that wants to, you know, get in on your garage sale, or maybe you've got family nearby, then you can have like a big, huge garage sale, which is a lot more enticing to 
garage sale enthusiasts. So while a garage sale is definitely a lot more work than the first two options that I stated, I think there's potential to make some good money. The next option is to sell your clothes on Facebook through the Facebook marketplace. This I believe is more work than a garage sale, than consigning with a consignment store, than sending your clothes in a bag, because now we're adding the element of you have to take pictures of the items that you want to sell. You have to create titles for those listings. You have to create descriptions. You have to upload the listing online, and then you have to deal with everything that comes after. If someone says, yes, I want this. You have to kind of go back and forth with them. Are they going to come to your house and pick it up? Are you going to meet them somewhere? Um, a lot of times people are just no shows. You got to haggle on the price. It's pretty time consuming, but you're going to most likely make more on that item than you would with the first three options that I stated. And some people love Facebook marketplace. And again, similarly to the garage sale model, you can also throw up, you know, things around your house that are not clothes related. So you can go through all the clothes that you want to sell, get all of those listed, but you can also, you know, if you're done with this candle, be like, I'm going to sell this candle and you can list that and you can, I don't know. I don't have anything else around me to show you that would be acceptable for Facebook marketplace. But if you're looking to get close to like top dollar on your item, Facebook marketplace, especially keeping it local and not dealing with shipping and stuff might be the way to go. One of the cons, even aside from all of the cons that I kind of already stated with Facebook marketplace in terms of, you know, a lot of no shows or having to give people your address or even having to meet strangers in public places. Another con is if you're going to keep it local and you're not going to deal with shipping, then you only have the people in your town to sell to. I, again, don't live in a very big town, so that very much limits the number of people that I'm able to sell my items to. And depending on what I have, that person who wants my item may not live near me. And so that's just not going to work. The final option that I thought of when it comes to making some money on your old clothes is to sell your clothes online. And that's actually what my channel is about. My YouTube channel is about my journey that started, I want to say, six or seven years ago of selling clothes, starting with my old clothes and my husband's old clothes online on reselling platforms like Poshmark and eBay and Mercari. And there's a bunch of other platforms. But the reason why people sell online is because now instead of only having your listing seen by people in your town that you can actually meet up with in order to exchange your garment for their money, now you can sell to people all over the country and even depending on the platform, all over the world. And because you have such a large audience, you can usually demand a higher price than you would on a place like Facebook Marketplace. You can demand more than what you'd probably get at a garage sale. And you'll definitely make more than what a local consignment store would give you for an item. Definitely more than what like a Play-Doh's Closet or a Clothes Mentor would give you. And you're going to make like a hundred times more than what you would make on that amount than if you were to send it into Swap or thread up. Reselling online, however, is the most amount of time and energy, which is why at the beginning of the video, I told you to ask yourself, how much time and energy do you have to devote to making money off of your old clothes? I have been doing this, like I said, for many years now. And so for me, I would say from beginning to end, from photographing a listing to getting it listed and getting it put away in my inventory bins, which if you're just selling your old clothes, you probably don't even have bins, but it probably takes me three to five minutes to do all of that for one item of clothing. I would estimate though that when I first started, it could take me like 15 to 30 minutes for one article of clothing. And that's because I was second guessing everything. That's because it took me a lot longer to list an item because I wanted to look up so much information on it. So even with it only taking three to five minutes per listing for me right now, when you multiply that by the number of items that you want to sell, it can be very overwhelming. And you may decide that that's just not how you want to sell your clothing because it's just not worth your time. I went into it just wanting to make as much as I could per item. And I I instantly got hooked. I quickly sold through all of my old clothing, my husband's old clothing, and was itching to do more and continue selling on those platforms because I was making pretty good side hustle money doing it. And that's when I turned to finding inventory at places like thrift stores and consignment stores, the same place that I'm telling you, you can sell some of your clothes to. I would then go in and maybe buy the thing that you sold your local consignment store at a very low price. And then I would turn around and flip that for a lot more money 
online. And if you want to learn how to do that, if you want to learn how to make as much money as possible selling clothing online as a side hustle, definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I upload content about just that every single week. But now that we've talked about all of the different places that I could think of when it comes to making money off of your old clothes, let's assess the final thing and that is your clothes. Because the truth is the type of clothes that you have will be a huge factor in determining how you should sell your clothes to make money. Here's what I mean. If you are somebody that just does not really care about fashion very much, you don't really keep up with fashion trends, you like to wear your clothes into the ground, or like, you know, that's how my children are. You know, they don't have like a million t-shirts or a million pair of pants. So especially when they were little and they were crawling around, those kids wore their clothes into the ground. There were holes in every single garment, <laughs> stains all over the place. And I don't even know that I was successful in giving those clothes away as hand-me-downs to people because they were in pretty rough shape. If you have a job where you just kind of get your clothes very dirty, maybe you're a chef, maybe you work outdoors, got stains all over everything, holes all over the place. The truth is there's probably not a lot of money to be made on your clothing. Or like I said earlier, if you're somebody that doesn't really care for fashion, doesn't really keep up with, you know, the trends, you get a lot of your clothes at Costco and Walmart and those kinds of places. Clothes is just merely function for you more than anything else. Again, it's gonna be hard to sell your clothes to any of the different options that I stated because the truth is clothes at those types of places don't retail for a lot, so there's not a lot of room left for resale value. If you paid $10 for your shirt, you're not gonna be able to get close to $10 for it because that's what someone would pay to get a brand new. And when it comes to those kinds of brands, brands that just don't retail for a lot to begin with or a lot of fast fashion brands, you know, your Sheens, your Forever 21s, your Charlotte Russes, if that's the majority of what makes up your wardrobe, then if you wanna try to sell those clothes to Swap or Thread Up or to your local consignment store, or, or even try to sell those things online, you're gonna find that there's not a very big market because again, clothing by those brands or from those stores are already super cheap to begin with and they're not made of the best quality. On the other hand, if you are somebody that enjoys the finer things in life and you have very expensive clothing, maybe you have clothing as expensive as, you know, your Chanel's and your Louis Vuitton's and your Gucci's and just super high-end luxury brands. Or maybe you get a lot of your clothes at places like Nordstrom and Revolve and River Island and, you know, you pay up for clothing because you're paying for quality, you're paying for the brand name, but you are investing in your clothing and you're investing in keeping them in good shape. Even if you do a lot of your shopping at places like Madewell and Abercrombie and Levi's, kind of more typical run-of-the-mill mall stores, there's still definitely room to make money at a lot of the different options that I stated because these are brands that people know and are comfortable with and are searching for not only at their local consignment stores and even garage sales, but online as well. So the way that it really works is the more money you put into your clothes to begin with, the more money you can get out when you resell them through all of the different options that I mentioned in this video. Video. Now, just to kind of bring this full circle, like I said at the very beginning of the video, if what you want to do is just donate your clothes to your local thrift store or donate your clothes to a local charity or give them to someone that you know, those are all amazing things to do with your clothing as well. But if you feel like you learned about some good options when it comes to making money on your clothes, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Definitely check out this video here where I teach you how to resell from beginning to end. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.